Thanks for checking out my Animal Crossing New Leaf series. I'll catch fish, dig up fossils, and pay off debt for your viewing enjoyment. Thanks for making this possible. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to pay our debts, to clear our name, and wrap up the dailies of Animal Crossing New Leaf on the Nintendo 5DS Triple XL. My name is Brian Saviano, aka Lincoln Log Larry. Let's finish this bad boy off, at least the daily stuff. Oh boy. Do I look tired? Nah, I look good. Oh, my hair's tired. Well, th not in the game. It's kind of, it looks weird. Anyways, so we have just a couple of things to wrap up here. It's been a little while since I've been in my town, as you can see by the leaves. I think it's been over a month in real life time. So that's going to happen, unfortunately, when you are not in your town for a long time. Uh, that sort of stuff is just going to happen. Uh, all of your weeds will come back. You're going to have a, a lot of stuff you got to maintain if you go without being in your town for a while. So uh, the first thing I want to do is pay off our debt. Now, how much do I have in here again? I have, oh, a lot of money. I'm going to withdraw all the money. All the monies. There we go. So we have 592,000 bells. And after we repay the loan... We should have what? Oh, that's not even that much, actually. Okay, I thought it was 500,000. So we have a swell 400,000 bells remaining. Uh, just about. A little bit under that. But for the sake of uh, numbers, I'm just going to say 400,000. So I'm going to insert uh, 360,000 of that. That way I have a 34,000 on hand. Just because, you know, hey, you never know what's going to pop up here. So after you do... All the island adventures, you clear off your name, you do whatever. You can go, obviously, to Nook's Homes, upgrade your house as you want to. The next upgrade, I believe, is a basement, then making that bigger, then getting an upstairs, making that bigger, then getting uh, three side rooms, making each of those bigger. So eventually, your loan can get up into the millions. So if you want to do that, you can. As I have proven by my lack of stuff in my home in general and having all of my knickknacks and goodies at the museum, which is very akin to how I have nothing at my, in my room, at my house, and then all my junk is in my office. Uh, you know, you don't really need to uh, upgrade your house unless you want to get rid of the museum, you know, upgrade your house, but that requires a lot more money both in real life and in Animal Crossing. So you're just better off having the stuff in the museum if you really want to. Here's all your stuff here. Um, I guess we'll get two last fortune cookies here just to uh, see exactly what we get. The daily fortune cookies. I will miss the fortune cookies, but it is, it is time to see what the last two could possibly be. Are they going to be anything good? Who actually knows? So here we go. Here's fortune cookie number one. Oh, it's a bird. A little parakeet. Oh, that's adorable. There's a fortune inside that says exercising is not a hobby. It's a lifestyle. That's a wee balanced board of which I am trying to e have a lifestyle, eat a little healthier. I have this uh, Samsung watch to help keep track of my heart rate and all that. That way. Okay, there we go. So those are two that we have seen before trying to keep ourselves uh, or myself rather a bit healthier trying to drop this weight like uh, Nintendo has dropped support for their classic games on Nintendo Switch so if I can lose weight as effectively as they can not put their classic consoles libraries on the Switch then I'm gonna drop weight like you've never believed before so uh, I got one more lucky ticket here I am gonna buy that bird because I want the bird I want my bud I want my bud you know what that's from then you're a big fan of the MCU or you just pay attention so yeah those two we know of we can't sell them off not here at least so yeah I want my is that an electric chair is that an electric chair what that uh what Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> Alrighty. Alrighty then. <laughs> I'm gonna buy that. Wow. Wow. That's that's uh that's a thing. Wow. It's a lab chair. A lab chair. All right. Yep. Why am I trying to dig there? Wow. That's a little something something. All right. I don't know. I don't know what possessed them to do that but sure all right so here's our designs none of which i care because it's not anything nintendo related or anything i would wear otherwise so i'm just gonna forget about it and then nothing else oh there's a one-up hat that's pretty cool not like diddy kong's hat or anything like that but in the same similar vein i guess it's a very gamer centric hat uh, i'm gonna take one last look at our museum that way i can show off everything that's in there once and for all uh, we did not end up getting the shovel. We didn't end up planting the money trees or anything like that, unfortunately. I want to do other things. Oh, I want to look at the museum, too. Give you one final look at everything going on in the museum. Uh, and I am really anticipating Animal Crossing on Nintendo Switch. It's really... It's getting there. Uh, E3 is June 11th, where all the game companies, for the most part, all of them, uh, we'll show off all of the new games are coming out with for 2019 and beyond. Nintendo has their thing ready for June 11th, which hopefully I can almost guarantee with every fiber of my being, they will talk about Animal Crossing on Nintendo Switch, as well as Mario Maker 2, and Pokemon, and a whole bunch of other stuff too. So if you're watching this before then, which you may, you may be, then yeah, check that out if you want to. Uh, I, I plan on recording my reactions in case we get Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door on the Nintendo Switch then I'll you'll see a grown man cry on camera with no shame whatsoever so these are all the fossils we currently have uh, we filled out the museum pretty nicely I would say uh, I always try to make a commendable effort in any save that I do to fill out the museum especially at least the fossils as much as I can uh, I, it's the easiest to get all of them. The paintings are by far the hardest because you only get to reds once a week. That's if you can tell which ones are real and fake. So these are obviously all real ones in here. And uh, at minimum, you would have to play kind of close to a year if you weren't time traveling or quantum jumping or anything like that uh, over the course of a year to really get everything legitimately so, and that's if you're not accounting for repeats. So, you're really playing the long game when it comes to museum paintings and statues and all that. So, keep that in mind if you want to fill out everything you have in there. If you don't really care, that it's whatever. Uh, I did end up getting a ton more... I don't think I end up showing it in the video. I got a ton of different uh, sea creatures while I was looking for... The uh, diving suit or the, the certain egg on the island that I could never find because you actually can't find it. So some stuff I did actually find, like the Galicio Pod, which is not the name of it, I think. That's the name of the Pokemon in Sun and Moon, but whatever. So uh, obviously we have more fish inside of here. All sorts of cool little creatures. You know, a decent amount of fish in here. It's not bustling like the New England Aquarium. The aquarium, which I still have not gone to. The weather has been awful, and I haven't had a chance to go. And I, I feel like the aquarium is like a thing you go to on a very hot summer day. You know, spend it all indoors. Uh, you know, there's no kids on school field trips during the summer. It, uh, you know, school is out. So I can enjoy uh, the aquarium without all these little hooligans running around. All you little hooligans. Ah, you know, screaming all about the aquarium. I can enjoy the penguins in peace. So... Remi uh, reminder, remember that you can uh, look at all the info for all these bugs too. You can really see exactly what they're all about, all the different stats that the game provides, which is pretty educational and informal. Informal? Infor informal? Informational? No, 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 no. So, uh, yeah, uh, we have uh, not as many bugs. I'm not a big bug person in general. I kind of hate bugs just a little bit, just a little bit. So, I, I don't really care. Uh, fishing is by far more entertaining for me than catching bugs. Obviously, we got some of these big old bugs from catching them on the island. So, 
that helped really fill out that room right there. But overall, not too much going on throughout here. But I like that they can just float around anywhere. They're not restricted to the main areas that they're in. For some of them, at least. They can fly around. And I really hope they continue that for future uh, Animal Crossing. Well, the next game as well. Just have things more interactive, you know? Not have everything restricted to the one area, you know? And that... What is that? That is a... Suitcase? What is that? Um... That's a thermo... Thermo... Hydrom... Thermo hydrometer? Hygrometer? Hydrometer. Why on earth would you want that? In your what is what does it do? What does that even do? I'm kind of curious. I kind of want to look that up actually. I'm gonna look that up right now because YOLO. Let's see, thermo hydrometer. Uh, a thermo hyd hydrometer um, is useful for the measurements of humidity. Humidity is a representation of the concentration of water vapor in the air. Uh, so that actually is useful for a museum, which is why it's there. Uh, these are all the Nintendo items we've accumulated so far. So, uh, pretty good variety. Uh, lots of Mario, lots of Zelda, uh, some Pikmin. A, a much more Pikmin than I wanted, but whatever. And then, obviously, Nintendogs. So we didn't end up getting the whole Samus set either, unfortunately. But the way that a museum needs to be, there can't be any moisture in the air, because that will uh, damage some of the things that are in the museum so for example what that humidity can do that that water vapor can do so on the background here it has since it's not there anymore because it fell off i put up like sticky things to the wall and i put all sorts of fan mail on there and it's attached by this cork board so cork board i put sticky things on the back attach it to the wall so it's not like nailed in or anything and if a lot of humidity gets in, then it eventually peels off the wall and falls down. So that's what happens when there's water vapor in the air. If there was no water vapor in the air, then it would be stuck on there, no problem. And nothing would change. I kind of want this thing here, and I can't grab it. I can't grab this beautiful looking butterfly, even if I wanted to. Uh, let's just check down here. <laughs> See who's here. Uh, we got Mary, Poppy, Cherry, Elvis, Gwen, Sylvia, Marshall, Hamlet, Gala. So some people have moved out without even saying anything. And I ain't even checked the mail either. So, I don't know. Uh, let me just check the bells just to see, you know, see if it's a nice kick, kick in the shin. If it's like 500 bells per turnip, then I'd be really kicking myself. But regardless, let's just see here. Uh, let's see. Turnip prices, it is... 147 so it's definitely up from the normal like 90 to 55 that you pay but or 90 to 105 I should say not 55 but it's in that ballpark so there you go um, we have only a couple of public works projects still here uh, sometimes the villagers will notice you if you're gone for too long like oh where'd you go but clearly not right now um, you know, a lot of our fruit trees have since, uh, blossomed, uh, all sorts of stuff like that. Um, let's see here. Uh, is there anyone in this campsite? No, there's been nobody in this campsite. I haven't seen a single person use that campsite in any day that I have actually played Animal Crossing. So that's kind of disappointing. But someone will camp out there. You can go inside the tent, convince them to be in your house. Uh, I should probably get the mail. Mail time, mail time, mail time. That's from the post office. Uh, ooh, we've earned 2,760 bells in interest. Wow. Hi, Mom. Your dad actually helped me with the housework today. If only it could always be like this. It's Mother's Day, Mom. So I guess for some reason... Mom will send you something on Mother's Day, even though you should be doing the reverse. Uh, I actually did that for my mother. Uh, I didn't get her flowers because actually, like, two other people got her flowers before I could get her flowers. So, oh, it's a pink carnation. That's cute. So, I just ended up, I'm going to buy her something whenever she asks for it. I, I can't, she's one of those people that you just can't buy gifts for. She just... It's, it's very hard to shop for her. So I'm like, whatever you want, just tell me and I'll, I'll get it for you. So that's basically 
where it's at with that. Uh, no special. Oh, there's red right there. We should probably. I guess we'll analyze the uh, the face, the the fake, the face, the fall. I, I was gonna say fake, or and then I switched it to false. The fake, fake news, the fake paintings, to see what is here. Oh boy, cousin, wanna go bowling? <laughs> Anyways, all right, let's give this a shot here one final time. Uh, crazy Reds. All right, so this one is the statue that needs some clothes that doesn't have any arms. Uh, this one, if she has long hair down to her shoulders, it's fake. That one is fake. This one, I believe, we have already. Uh, oh, that last one was called the Venus di Milo by Unknown, the beautiful statue. Uh, this one is called The Girl with Pearl Earring from Johannes Vermeer, the wistful painting. If her hair is red, it's fake. Uh, it doesn't look fake. If her hair is, if her hat is blue, it's genuine. Okay, so that's the genuine one. Cool. So we can get that one. And just to show you these other ones here. Oh, that's this guy with the, the disc. That's the Discobolus of, oh wow, I, I butchered that. The Discobolus of Myron by Unknown, the robust statue. If he's holding an object that has bumps on it, it's fake. That seems fake. Uh, if he is holding a smooth disc, it's genuine. It's supposed to be like a, a massive rock sort of thing he's throwing. That's what the Olympics all used to be about. But then now, Michael Phelps takes every gold uh, medal, and that's how it is. <laughs> this one's a funny one. <laughs> the Otani, on Otani Onji 2 by... I can't pronounce that name. Uh... Uh, I can't I'm not even gonna try it. It's a very uh, Japanese name uh, the scary painting if he is only pointing one finger in each hand It's fake if he has all fingers sticking out. It's genuine. So this is fake, but I love that. He's just doing <laughs> He's doing the finger guns. He's like hey, hey I like that. So if I didn't want to get the uh, Genuine one I'd probably get that one just because it's funny looking knowing that it's fake But yeah, I'll go for the uh, wistful painting here. So 4704 I'll take it. Not that we're going to place it in the actual uh, museum, but the fact that I got it is one step closer to completion. So there we go. We'll visit the campsite one last time and see exactly who, you know, who's there. We've gotten a lot of repeat visitors there, so I'm not banking on anyone special or new being there. But, you know, you never know. Could be something cool. Could be something interesting or different. I don't know. I just live my life and try my very best. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Oh, so this is Jingle. Jingle Bell. It, it might as well be like Christmas right now. It, we've It's been raining for a month straight in New England. Oh, boy. That's a lot of Christmas, and I, it's, it's May. So, nope, I'm going to leave. So, this is the thing. We have done everything in Animal Crossing as a daily endeavor. Okay? There's nothing else... That is relatively interesting for us to do as, you know, the days go on. Between May... No, between, what, April and October? There's nothing that really happens for, like, special events or anything like that. Um, all the different events we've kind of already done. So, it's kind of like, alright, whatever. Uh, let's see here. So, what are the other events that we didn't end up... So, the list of the uh, events are Festival, a Bunny Day, April Fool's Day, Halloween, Harvest Festival, Toy Day, and my birthday. So, we covered about half of those. Now, this entire playthrough, I've wanted to do Animal Crossing 100% legit and not skip days and whatnot. For the most part, I did that. However, there's a movie that just came out recently, and I, I, I managed to engineer the technology to get that working in Animal Crossing New Leaf. A little movie called Avengers Endgame, okay? If you haven't seen it yet, this is your fault. Uh, spoilers. So, they uh, use the quantum realm to uh, go in between different areas of time to deal with the Infinity Stones. And I have found a way within Animal Crossing to time jump. And what we need to do the time jump and I definitely, I didn't plan this beforehand. We need that lab chair. So this is the lab chair that is required to do the quantum jumping, to go to different events backward and forward in time to showcase them for your viewing enjoyment here. So 
that's what I want to do. I do want to showcase each of the events I didn't get a chance to cover before Animal Crossing on Switch comes out. So, if I'm going to be going into the Quantum Realm, I need a Quantum Suit. And I managed to find a spare Quantum Suit in the background of I don't know where. But it looks really good. And I'm not saying I made it, but I definitely did. And I think it looks great. So, in order for us to go to the first event that we haven't covered, which is Halloween, we need to jump into the chair and figure out what's going on. So, I don't know if this will work, but let's jump into the chair and go to Halloween. <laughs> 